channel today I have a very very simple tutorial for you guys a lot of you guys told me that you know you have problems when it comes to sticking falsies I just thought today I should make a video to get to the basics about falsies and how I choose them how I use them and why I like them in general I love falsies because my eyelashes are very very short and very sparse so I do need a lot of help in the eyelash department just putting a lot of mascara every day just wouldn't give me that kind of false lash effect and on top of that you know sometimes it's very time consuming I don't like removing mascara also because it's super hard to remove a lot of people think that falsies are very very unnatural but that's not the case because there are a lot of falsies out there that are very very natural like the Japanese ones you can get that from Don Don Donkey of course to the other extreme which is the Bangkok ones that are like super dramatic and very very drag queen like for the sake of today's tutorial I'm just gonna show you guys how I apply very dramatic falsies because I believe that's what most people would wear falsies for like on a very very dramatic and glamorous occasion where you have to look good Today I have a pair of Thailand falsies that I bought from Bangkok recently and they are this type of false lashes they're very very fluttery, very thick they have a very thick and black band as well so bands are something that you want to take note when you are purchasing your falsies because the darker the band the more unnatural it is and also the stiffer the band the more difficult it is for it to stay on and just last throughout the whole day you want to find one band that is thin enough malleable enough soft enough for you to apply and stick on your eyes the whole day the first step is to choose the type of lashes that you want you want the natural kind you want the very dramatic kind you want those that are just more spiky longer at the end shorter at the front so on and so forth there are many many like thousands of different designs out there so I got here with me a very simple all-rounded very fluffy wispy ones I think these actually give me a very romantic and round eye look which is what I like we are gonna be choosing our glue. My favourite glue is actually this one. This one is from Duo. There are a lot of good eyelash glue brands out there. One is Duo, another one is called DUP, another one that I really like is called Star Lash and they are found in Sasa. I personally like to use the clear band ones because um, I feel that using the dark black adhesive can be quite messy sometimes. So I rather go with a clear lash glue and then going with an eyeliner after that so next up you want to measure your lashes according to your eyes so you see when i put it like this it is actually not too bad i feel that it's just nice the length some people might think it's a little bit long and when you think it's a bit long you can always trim it starting from the sides so i just like to place it on and see how it looks like before I actually stick it on. This particular pair, I actually don't need to cut. That's why it's a good thing. So what I recommend you guys to do if you're a beginner and if you're not very confident and applying glue is the most messy part of the entire process. You want to apply glue on the back of your head rather than on the lash itself because when you over apply or you under apply, it's going to be really messy and you're just going to stain everything. And sometimes glue can even get into your eyes which is quite dangerous just a tiny little bit like this will do you don't need that much you can use a pair of tweezers if it helps you but for me I like to use my fingers because it's just much faster that way then I will take my falsies um, by the bristles and I will just make sure that only the lash band gets the glue there you go this is a very very important step because you want to make sure that your lash glue is gonna dry for a little bit more before you apply because that's when it actually gets tacky and it sticks onto your eyes better. Okay, when it starts to get a little bit more translucent, you don't want to wait until it's completely translucent then you apply, okay? So you want to just put it just rest it on first. It's okay if it's not like perfect because you want to be able to slowly adjust like this. And start pushing, pushing and at the same time pinching and making sure that it follows the shape of your eye. 
And what I'm doing is I'm just pushing it and making sure it sticks. And there you have it. So you guys can see the kind of difference <laughs> falsies make when it comes to you know your entire look because one eye is so much bigger compared to the other eye. Don't have to worry about the glue because once it dries down, it will turn translucent and then we'll go in with eyeliner. I'm just gonna try and show you guys on the other side, me applying it and this time with a pair of tweezers for those of you who are interested. So with my tweezers, I will just pinch in at the middle and all the way as close to the lash band as much as possible. Like this. Run the glue. Like so. At the front, it is actually really clean. You don't see any white glue at all. It's only all the way at the back. So this way, you can actually prevent your eye from looking like too white, <laughs> especially at the lash band area. Once it's gonna get a little bit more dry, you wanna tilt it upwards down. Stick it right in the middle of your eyelid. Release. Then use your tweezers to push the ends of the eyelashes. And there you have it. You want to apply your falsies as close to your natural lashes as possible. There are a few tricks to doing that. First trick, you can actually curl your natural lashes before you apply the falsies and that way it kind of grows together in the same direction. Another way is to also apply a coat of mascara after this but I generally don't like to do that because when I do that, I can't actually reuse my falsies anymore. So I'm just going to show you guys my own trick of how to make your lashes look a little bit more natural and more, you know, as if it's actually really stuck to your real lashes. That's with a eyeliner. I am using the roller liner. And what you want to do is you want to go in very thinly to just clean up whatever white glue that is left at the edges. Because you'll see that there are gaps underneath your eyes and your lashes, especially in between, you want to go in there and fill these gaps up. Alright, and there you have it! It's super simple. I don't know if this tutorial is going to help you guys much, but this is just my little tips on how I apply my falsies and how I choose my falsies and so on. When it comes to removal, it's super simple. Just soak a cotton pad with an eye makeup remover. Press it there for about 5 seconds and slowly peel off the lashes. If you want your lashes to last very long, then don't go for a glue that is super strong because once you yank it out, the lashes are gonna be gone. If you don't mind, go for a slightly weaker glue. Um, Duo is actually quite good, like it's a more in-between kind of glue. So once you yank it out, you can just remove the glue and peel it off without any products off of the lashes and you can reuse them for a good like two to three more times and I think that saves a lot of money. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like and share and if you have any other makeup woes, you know, that you think I can try and help you, let me know in the comments box down below because I love to make these kind of videos and uh, I love to help you guys out. I'll see you next time. Bye!